Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And listen up, man, they saying badges are not permanent in 2K24, constant progression. They're showing all the new badges. People are getting hyped, saying it's gonna be the greatest 2K ever. A bunch of new gameplay. They're saying that the paid season rewards offer no competitive advantage. Why do y'all think they switched up the tone? <laughs> 2K community day going along and everybody's telling me all about the game, man, in the DMs. Now look, I got some leaks with 2K24 gameplay and I'm gonna be getting the game early. I got a lot of people that went to 2K community today leaking me information. If you want that information, join my Discord. It's in the description and we will be streaming the game early in that hoe. So you wanna see how the game play all that? Join the Disky Court. But look, before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you are new. Help me hit 276K.5. We are like 80 subscribers away, and make sure you hit that goddamn like button. It helps Young Swan grow. Now, firstly, I want to show y'all, man. Mike Wang tweeted this out. He said there's really cool prizes, but my players will not get a competitive advantage on the court. No gameplay animations, badges, etc. Right? That's a W. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's common sense that first they want to get us adjusted to buying the season pass. Then they're going to slowly implement pay to win features. They already did it in my team because they know that my team dudes, they just straight NPCs, right? It's common sense, bro. This is 2K. When they implemented VC, people were like, bro, it's just a little bit of money. Da, 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 da. It's going to keep being more. I heard the COD season pass already went up $10 the next go around, but this is 2K. So as I told you before, any creator in support of paid seasons has no soul. Hold them accountable. Anyone publicly supporting seasons, hold them accountable. They are supposed to be your voice. We do not need a paid season pass to get rewards that we deserve. We spend 150 plus a build, etc. <laughs> plus the game. We don't need paid season. I'm telling you, they're 100% going to implement pay to win features. It's going to keep getting worse. You have to stop it now. If you don't think that you are just an NPC, might have to hand up. I don't know. Look, 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 look at badge. All that complaining from Twitter for nothing. Look at Badge. Badge, look at the size of your channel, buddy. You're really telling me you don't think they're going to eventually implement pay to win features in the seasons. You're not dumb. <laughs> what? <are laughs> what? What's going on? Look, people can stop freaking out now. What do you mean, Badge? This is a big deal. People aren't acting crazy. They're standing up for themselves. This is 2K, the number one leader in microtransactions. It is obvious they are going to eventually implement pay to win. It is common sense. You are extremely smart, Badge. You know this. <laughs> to act like people freaking out is crazy, dog. I ain't gonna hold. Look, look, look at Badge. They tried to crucify me. Guys, two people got $70 million bonuses, dog. If you genuinely don't think they're gonna make you eventually be able to buy badges, buy 99 overall, buy gameplay advantages in seasons, you are lost. It is common sense. They probably already had pay to win stuff in our My Player season pass, but they took it out because of the outrage, right? This is why I be telling y'all that talking behind the scenes, it don't work. You gotta create that public outrage, my boy. I don't know, bro. Defending season passes in a game where you buy the game, you have to buy Gatorade, you have to buy skill boost. <laughs> 150 of my player and a my player builder that's very confusing, right? You're basically paying to play every game you play, to be honest, because you can't earn VC normally. The reason this game is so overpriced is because of y'all. Y'all don't hold the community accountable, and you don't hold creators accountable, bro. Hold them accountable, or it's never gonna end. When, when are y'all gonna make it, like, bro, if you gonna still play the game, at least complain, dog. Like, bro, you're buying this. They work for you. When, when's it gonna be too much? 500 a bill? Like... <laughs> 
Anywho, man, look, we got some new gameplay. Float game. Okay, so we got a floater badge. Okay. We've had one of those before. We got Bulldozer. Hey, I pointed this out in the trailer. I was like, bro, what is this? This looks new. What is this, Bully on steroids? I guess they couldn't get Bully Master. Now you could just blow through someone. That's Jimmy Butler. He has some excellent defense. This is like Clamp Breaker on steroids, bro. I don't know, bro. Um, hopefully, you got to have some real requirements to get this. But this looked like big guard builds. They finna. Huh. Bro, and bro, Jimmy, bro. Jimmy's my player. He has to have like gold or Hall of Fame clamps, right? Because I, I, I even played with him this year and he had gold or Hall of Fame clamps. I'm pretty sure it was gold. So for this to happen, Giannis might have purple or gold and look what he's doing to him. That's that's kind of scary, dog. Speed booster, damn. They done took quick first step out the damn game. This looks kind of slow, but everyone's, it's on bronze. How you know it's on bronze? And they, they said there's also another quick first step badge that they split it up into. Two step badge. What is this, slithery finisher? Yes, yeah, so they're, they're just like renaming badges to be honest, damn. Finish with authority with all new precision dunker badge. Precision dunker improves your ability to make skilled dunks. This is like a posterizer. Damn, and that's on Holiday. Holiday got some defense too. Look, look at this. Look what they doing for these community day people. They gave them their own cover and 2K and they own my team card. And they got the rings. Hold on. Look at this. They gave them a controller, a ring. <laughs> they gave them this, the hoodies. Look, dog community you gotta hold these creators accountable bro i'm trying to tell you with it and now they finna come back with the footage get the biggest their channel boost to their channels bro if they silence all the creators that that want to go to this it's looking shaky for y'all you, you gotta hold them accountable bro <laughs> trying to tell you dog you know they go hey they ain't saying nothing bad about 2k oh god and i've been told y'all since the beginning even if they don't have pay to win stuff in it for the for 2k24 eventually in the paid seasons they're going to implement pay to win it's common sense okay everyone i'm everyone knows this come on man these creators are smart. Look at their channel size. They're not dumb people, bro. I'm telling you, they know. They know this. You gotta hold them accountable, you know? Th this is a moment where you can really show that you, you, you care about your supporters and not just say it. You feel me? Now here is the new builder, man. Okay, this looks cool. Now look, it's looking like they showing tears and stuff. Th this is why I think 2K Lab is working with, uh. 2k bro to be honest now this is a lockdown build like a 90 overall lockdown build if you got them with some playmaking they're gonna be slow as hell barely shooting and almost no finishing so it looks more restricted to be honest well they do got the midi up maybe this stuff's out you you can't really tell because maybe certain things bring up other stuff. But for this to be 90 overall, like a lockdown build, this build is horrible. Like, what the hell? Bro, like, or maybe you can hit with a 68.3. But still, like, your speed, it's, it's too slow. Yeah, this build's horrible. Why would they even post this? Bro, look how trash this build is. Why would they post this hoe? So you got clamps on this hoe, you got the restrictions to it. 94 feet allows defenders to harass the and bother ball handlers in the backcourt. What? <laughs> Bro, what? Yo, so you telling me they get extra bumpy in the backcourt? Oh, that boy Wolf was tripping. And look, fast feet. This is speed boosting for goddamn lockdowns. <laughs> hey, hopefully they can keep up, dog. That's good. Uh, hopefully they didn't nerf the offense to make the defense look like it's good. Ho hopefully it's actually good. And both of them are like OP, right? You could keep up like back in the 16 days, 15 days, 14 days, even the 17 days. You could keep up a lot better than the newer 2Ks. But yeah, fast feet, let's go. Okay, Bunny, they say this is a layup badge, Claymo, open looks. 
what the hell is open looks i guess you get a boost for shooting wide open oh you know we gotta put that on because i'm almost always wide open relay passer oh so relay passer is probably hit one person then hit another and then they get a boost this is a lot of badges they might give us way more badge points to be able to use all these badges this is a lot of badges bro scooper um probably some layup stuff special delivery spot finder i don't know what the hell this is touch passer i guess you oh i damn bro nah so touch passer will be just like a boost for right when you pass the ball you can then now touch bro but that was already built into the game like if you pressed x right before or right when you got it you could touch pass it quicker but now they they're taking that ability away to make it a badge that's kind of trash i ain't gonna hold you when 2k like tries to break up things that are just naturally built into the rating it kind of get like kind of lame but he said ratings are gonna matter more than badges so i don't know i don't know triple strike i don't know what that is i don't know what whistle is hopefully we find out later in the video so we got 77 skill badges okay so floaters and runners is the float game bad quick scoop layups are the scooper bad okay so for the bunny badge that's the hop step layups and dunks okay so spin cycle has to do what you do in spinning layups and dunks two step is your cradle and euro bro there is listen listen there's so many badges bro i think when we make our builds there's gonna be a lot more badge points but it's really just a genjutsu to just make up for how many badges we actually have if y'all know what I mean. Like, hell, we might have like 50 badge points for shooting badges, but that that's, that doesn't mean that the builder's as OP as a past 2K type B. All depends, bro. Okay, so the precision dunker, I think this is a badge for doing the, the skill dunk with your uh, analog. Huh. Damn. Hook specialist for the hookers. Post fade phenomenon for the post faders. We don't like post scores, my boy. Open looks boost your shot when you're wide open. So spot finder, when you're tapping R2 and you get a speed boost, and I guess if someone pass you the ball, you're gonna get a boost on that hook. And it's gonna help you catch it better. This is a lot of badges. So they did give us some new badges. Whistle. So if you got this badge, you're going to be like James Harden. You're going to be getting every foul call. James Harden in the prime. This is definitely going to be used. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be funny, bro. <laughs> bro, I can only imagine. Bro, 2K going to have to do a lot of balancing. I ain't going to hold you. Okay, free points is for free throws. Bulldozer. This, oh, bully 2.0 told you so this is bully plus clamp breaker <laughs> so they, they done put the most overhyped badge with the most broken badge in this whole damn bulldozer improves the player's ability to push through physical body like damn it like we not playing like this is scary <laughs> leak 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 <laughs> It's a problem, it's a problem. Okay, relay passer, pass to assist. Okay, we already know touch passer. Big driver, if you're at the mid range, you're gonna get a big launch boost. So I guess just walking through people? Damn, bro, yo, 2K, blow by. Damn, so not only do they have bulldozer, they got blow by. Quick ball handlers receive a boost in body up interactions with the defenders when blow by is equipped, damn. So if you have physical handles on, this helps you not lose adrenaline. They say when you blow by the defender, uh, you're not going to lose the adrenaline. But if you don't blow by, you lose the adrenaline. Damn, bro. Spit. Damn. Bro, this 2K sound crazy. And then, and then you know what's so crazy? You lose these badges too. This could be a real problem. This also is going to increase people's play time so they like get their badges. This is crazy because you need all these like badges as like a playmaker too. Damn. Fast feet. It wouldn't be a fair game if only offensive players receive speed boost. Fast feet can be looked at as quick first step badge for defenders, allowing defensive specialists to stay in front of shifty ball handlers. Told you. Speed boosting for the I told you, they done finally figured out a way. So we better be able to move fast. You done gave defenders the ability to speed boost. 
Damn, they got a badge right stick ripper just for your right stick. Damn. This hoe giving me 1819 vibes. Like the straight cheese fest. Immovable enforcer, a direct counter to bulldozer. Oh, but hey, last year that hoe didn't work. 94 feet. Players with 94 feet receive fewer body ups, stamina hits, improved body ups, wins when pressing full court don't worry those who do not have this badge will regret pressing full court Ooh, damn hey i'm gonna break down all the best oh they do got the tier system for y'all too damn they said it's the best builder they ever created so you could choose between to choose between creating your own custom my player or start with an NBA player template. Oh man, they finna milk y'all dry. A variety of players, player types are among the handful of NBA players chosen for the template feature. Damn. They say you can select them templates and just go with it. Ooh. Takeovers are no longer a part of the my player builder process. More emphasis was placed on preventing meta builds. So apparently we're gonna have a crazy uh, my player builder name system and they done adjusted everything, man. Current perk applied, scholar, increased badge level progression. What? So they gonna have like some perks for your bad? This is crazy, bro. Hey. When the game come out, this the channel for you. I'm going to be putting y'all on, man. I know this might seem like a lot to digest because it's even a lot for me. Badge levels are determined by badge usage, meaning how often they're firing off in game. <laughs> Over time, from game to game, your usage and skills with badge, with the badge are being evaluated and your badge level will start to trend towards the level that matches your play that is immaculate bro so many people just be doing cardio all game for years they're really gonna have no badges dog <laughs> yo they're gonna bro this is gonna create chaos especially for randoms oh my god Yo, yo. Badges with high usage and success will trend towards the higher levels within your potential. So say you got the potential of gold, whatever, however you use that, hoe, that's how it's going to act. Oh, man. Damn. There is a floor, however, your badge will never drop below bronze, like riding a bike. So if you do lose your badge level, regaining that level takes less time than it did the first time. That's crazy. Okay, so certain badges that are unusable, they're protected. Like say you play 2v2, relay passer can't be like taken out. This is interesting, man. They had to be cooking this for a while. This ain't no nine month cycle thing. Oh, so the badge tiers, it also represents how good they are but it's also how easy you can lose and how hard it is to gain them very interesting stuff damn i felt bad for y'all this hoe gonna be completely new y'all is gonna be lost oh my god man beating up on randoms is gonna be at an all-time easy so you can still get your badges elsewhere but you won't lose them team practice facility gatorade training facility and the chris berkeley you won't lose your badges there. Damn. I can only imagine. I'd be like, yo, come play. And then someone would be like, they got to get their badge up to go play. That's crazy. Damn. Badge perks. There are four slots per perk. A badge can only have one badge perk applied at a time. Wait, so every badge has four perks? What the hell? These are the four perks, and you could put badges in them. Bro, this is crazy. Oh man, I hope this, I hope this gives YouTubers a bunch more content, bro. This is, man, if y'all did this right, this a double.
I ain't gonna hold you, bro. God damn. So overdrive increases badge level progression in games. Wow. So overdrive increases badge level progression in games. Okay. So like the badges you're lacking that you want to upgrade, you put them in the overdrive. Immunity slows down badge level regression in games. So ones that you'll probably lose. This is very interesting. Very interesting. This is actually cool, bro. If they executed it right, it's cool. Drill Savient. Increased badge level progression in team practice facility. Okay. Wait, why would that be in team practice? Well, I guess you could... No. That is... Why is that... Scholar. A risk reward perk that gives a significant increase in badge level progression for PvP game with a high teammate grade. Okay. But it comes with a risk. If you do opposite of that, boom, boom. Rotational season prize. What the hell does that mean? I thought they said that wasn't in that hole. Okay, so this is like scholar, but it's based off of winning, not the uh, teammate grade. If you lose, you get zero progression. Rotational season prize. I thought they said it wasn't gonna affect gameplay. These are kind of like the same things. Damn, look at this hoe. Mm. So performance multipliers are prizes that man. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. I ain't. Y'all already, y'all already understand it. The performance multipliers, floor setters are proud, powerful prizes that are earned in season XP. They're included with the free base pass each season there are 18 floor setter slots in total nine for silver and nine for gold adding a floor setter to a badge will prevent that badge from ever dropping below the listed badge level if your badge has not progressed to the level of the floor setter you want to apply it to it will auto progress to that level they are permanent and cannot be changed Damn. If your player can progress beyond the listed floor setter badge level, they will not be prevented from doing so. Damn. Damn. How y'all feel about that? So floor setters are transferred to new builds and you can unlock the new badges instantly. Mm. It prevents badges from going silver to bronze again. You can still progress to Hall of Fame. Badge grind is pretty quick for the badges you frequently use. Teammate grade and wins and losses have a big impact on badge progression. Oh, damn, you randoms finna be in trouble this year. Bro, imagine playing with rant. Bro, I might have to retire playing with randoms. I know y'all want the content, but bro, people ball haul crazy with no ability to lose badges. Imagine now, like really imagine now. People be ball hogging and have no dribble moves in their arsenal, have no ability to get a three up, nothing. They still ball hogging. Imagine now with the ability to lose badges, it's finna be chaos, dog. Damn. Y'all might have to find a squad. I feel bad for y'all. Join my Discord. You need people to play with. Rebirth sets your badges at silver immediately. That's a W. That's a W. Wait. Rebirth should let you max. Wait. Did Rebirth let you max? We got to convince him to let us max it, man. Get under that tweet. Is there a set amount of badge points for each build? Or can we have as many as we use? It's unclear in the article. Badge points are gone. What? Are they called something else? Oh, do we just got access? Wait. So do we just have access to every badge based on our build? Oh, that's crazy. So if you play with randoms and you have a bad record, but you consistently have a good teammate grade, He's saying it it uh balances out. So in the tools, your defensive badges, you don't lose them as much because of make it, take it. Okay, so comp players always 21-0, rarely play defense. Why would they be penalized? This is a great point. Got this noted. We'll see what they can do. Huh? Yeah. There's definitely, there's definitely gonna be a ton of issues with 24 
because it's so many new things a lot of y'all y'all think that's negative i'm just letting y'all know bro there's gonna be a ton of things that need to be adjusted and fixed bro it it can't have all these new things and it work correctly it's just impossible especially with 2k trip so interior players get to speed boost too at the midi what the hell bro so badge plug got a tweet from mike wang himself he says if there was an op badge it would already be nerfed so hoping there are all pretty balanced right now we know that's impossible i don't really have a favorite badge to be honest I just play how I want to play and the badges work themselves out according to my playstyle. Mike, you do not play this hoe. Where is what is he talking about? But if I had to pick a couple, Spot Finder and Claymore are two that I really like. So you a spot up. You a corner. Huh. I knew it. I want to see Mike Wang play. So this Meech guy posted a comparison between 2K23 and 2K24. Fool. <laughs> And look, in 23, you can get a little bit more layup, right? But on 24, you can't. Post control the same. The shooting the same. The defense look almost the same. Yeah. The speed look a little different. So it's kind of like the same. This hoes a 92. I guess he had to do a 92. So it seems like it's a little nerf, you know? Or maybe like a lot of nerf with the finishing. But it's looking like the same. But people are tweeting out it's more restricted. But it's looking like this. It looks very similar. Maybe it just works different with different stuff. But hey, I just wanted to show y'all this. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah.